Mail everyone, I'm Cantonese Cat. This is the monthly chart of Bit Farms. Without any indicators or anything fancy, you can see that right now this is post CPI data. CPI is a little bit hot, so it turned out that rates increased. Small caps are not doing as well. And uh, what you're seeing here is there's a bit of a drop in terms of Bit Farms. Um, so far, it's been kind of holding at this volume shelf level around 2.3, and um, you have basically a big volume shelf all the way up here from about 3.6 maybe even a little bit higher around 3.8 or so and all the way down to some of the higher volume shelves um, down here is 1.5 no, sorry 1.75 um, and also you know 1.92 but there's also a pretty important volume shelf right around here around 2.3 and that's where prices kind of find support right up here on the volume shelf um, and that's also some you know something kind of important to look into now looking at the monthly, looking at the Ichimoku cloud. Initially it was using Tenkan and Kijin as support and now it's kind of fallen below a little bit. So it's kind of hucking at some point it's going a little higher, some point it's going a bit lower. It got rejected by the Kijin last month and so far it's still the price still below it and it's also um, gotten below the um, Tenkan. However it does look like there's going to be likely in next month going to be a bullish Tenkan you know, Kijin cross. And we'll see. Ideally, I like to see price kind of push back up above both of these two lines right here as they cross, and that would be a you know relatively bullish development. Right now, price is below it, but I think it's going to get pushed up, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, there is no cloud yet because the, there just hasn't been enough you know price history for bit farms. But you know this is kind of like the bottom of the cloud. If you can see if price is able to break above this big volume shelf right up here, is price has spent really one, two, three months trying to break back above this whole you know giant volume shelf right up here unable to do so so what ended up happening is we, we just going back down and test some of these levels down here that's exactly what it's doing once it's able to find good support I think it's going to bounce up because so far I'm still seeing a pretty nice bull trend with higher highs and higher lows and it's basically form a higher high and right now it's, I think it's trying to find a higher low right here before continuation and once it's able to break out above this volume shelf right here I think the the, the next step is probably going to be around five dollars which is right around the bottom of this cloud that is starting to form um, so it's uh, looking pretty decent I think there are things that I can think of that are going to be supportive of something like that happening one is if you look at a Bollinger Band the Bollinger Band even though it's not you know going all the way down like I hope it would it's also not really curling up like I, I, I hope it would it's not that impulsive right now, but the 20 month moving average is still pointing up and price is still spending majority of the time above on the upper part of the Bollinger Band. All these things are bullish. And it's basically, it seems like it, it kind of got a little bit too far ahead of itself, way outside upper Bollinger Band, it got pushed back down. It's going for some correction moves right here, but that's okay. What we're gonna see here is um, because the monthly trend is pointing up, um, I think that most likely we're going to end up having some continuation. I think eventually price is going to maybe take another month or two, but price is eventually going to break above this volume shelf right over here, above 3.5, about 3.7, so, so on and so forth, and get to $5 once we're able to kind of break above this level right here. And I think trend is kind of favorable here. The other thing to look at to show you the trends being favorable is, again, if you look at the weekly chart, and this gives you a very, very clear picture, is forming a little bit of a, a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and higher high. Right now it's trying to find a higher low. All of this is very indicative of a bull trend, and you don't really need any fancy indicators to tell you that. But if you want something just a little tiny bit fancier, you can look at the moving average. Orange is 20, blue is 50, and the black right there is 100. So all of these are simple moving averages of um, different durations. So right now, price is actually kind of um, testing the 20 right now, which is very, very upsloping. You can add a bull market support band, which is the 20 week simple moving average, which is what I'm showing you here. And this also add the 21 week um, exponential moving average. Right now, price is above the um, I spent above the upper bull uh, sorry, above, it's above the bull market support band for quite a long time. Right now, it's just kind of doing a little bit of back test. It's kind of wicked down a little bit below, but right now it seems like this could potentially be pretty decent support. We'll see how the week goes. You know, this is only Tuesday so far. It could wick below. And it could go down even further. There's a pretty you know good support level right here around 2.11, and it could end up closing below this um, uprising 
um, bull market support trend, uh, uh, bull market support band, and that's okay because if it's raising like that. It's probably not going to surface a very strong resistance, and there's a potential for price to just kind of bounce back from some of these levels down below, and it could, you know, keep going back up. And even if it goes down to this volume shelf right at here around 2.1, it's still technically still a higher low, and the bull trend is still intact. Matter of fact, you can kind of see like the so far the last couple of weeks, the selling volume is kind of a little bit decreasing. So I'm not sure. I think that there's a potential it could find support right here. It could potentially bounce and try to get uh, spend the next month or two trying to really break above this volume shelf level and try to break above to get to the next level, which is at five dollars. I'm saying that because all these moving averages are stacked to the bullish side: 20 over 50 over 100. 100 starting to flatten. 50 is pointing up, and 20 is also pointing up. This is a pretty you know full bull trend. So I, I find this setup to be quite favorable. In the longer term, anyway, I'm not going to be able to tell you what happens from week to week, sorry, from, from day to day, um, or even week to week, but I can tell you really the weekly trend still seems very bullish. So I'm still pretty bullish on this. If you look at the weekly Ichimoku cloud, it kind of fell below some of these so potential support lines right here. Last week, it found support here at the uh, at the Kijin, um, but this week looks like it's kind of, you know, break below down very a little bit. But th that's okay. I mean, I, I think overall the trend is still bullish. Kitchen's um, still below the Tinkit. So this is still a pretty strong weekly bull trend, just like I'm showing you on um, the moving averages as well. Um, and you can see that price is still way above the Ichimoku cloud. There's still plenty of support down below. It's still trying to figure out where the um, higher low is going to be. So there are a lot of good things going forward. I'm not that particularly concerned about bit farms at this point. Um, the other thing to also look into bit farms, I also want to show you a couple other things too. One is the um, Fibonacci levels. I'm not going to draw it from, you know, I guess I can draw it from here going down to here. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So from here going down to here, although I think the top is really more closer to here, so this, these these fit levels are probably going to be a little bit more accurate. So you see that it got rejected from the 0.382 level. It's trying to back test the uh, 0.236 level. Initially, it looks like it found support and bounced up. Right now, it kind of broke below it a little bit. But it's also got a lot of these you know, volume shelf down here that can potentially serve as support. And it also has a pretty you know, nice um, bull market support band that's kind of pushing the price up potentially push it up even higher if you give it enough time, if you give it enough time to kind of test support, you know, and, and if it's able to finish up with a lower, sorry, with, with a higher low right here, it's going to keep going up higher. Um, I think it's going to, probably going to push about this 0 0.362 maybe over the next couple of months to get to the next volume shelf right up here, which is around $5, and right coincidentally is around the 0 0.5 FIP level, uh, which is going to be the next level that we're going to have to battle, but I think that might take another month or two for us to be able to get there. Right now, price is still kind of stuck around here. We're testing some of the support down below, and that's okay. You know, these things happen. Uh, I'm not I'm not in a hurry. I think this is a pretty strong monthly bull trend and weekly bull trend. So I'm gonna just let things play out. I already have a pretty decent position. I did add just a little tiny bit today, right around here. Um, but uh, you know, my majority of my position was already built, and I already kind of built it you know, over the last course of the last uh, couple of years or so. So um, anyway, those are my thoughts on bit farms. Um, right now, another thing to kind of show you too, it seems like the volume may be a little bit decreasing over the last couple of weeks here too, right? This week is still only Tuesday. The volume is already pretty high because, you know, they, they did have an offering news that came out Friday after hours. And I think Monday, there was just a lot of selling pressure. But it's still, despite that, it's still not really doing much worse compared to the other miners and despite all that it still seems like it's trying to find support right here so i i you know if you want to be a little bit more glass half full i think is still doing pretty darn good considering we'll see whether or not it truly forms a higher low right here and see whether or not we can battle up these levels right up here but if you are worried about potential downsides then some of the other levels down underneath that's important to pay attention to would be 2.1 right here would be around 1.9 and if it potentially gets even lower 1.5 right those are going to be your risk level based on volume shelves but if you want to look at the moving averages you know the things to look for would be you know very similar levels right down here at this bottom of this volume shelf would be 
um, would be, you know, the uprising 50 moving average. Um, that would be, you know, another potential level to look at. If you look at the monthly, if you look at the um, Ichimoku cloud, um, not really giving you a whole lot of level here, but these could potentially still serve a little bit as resistance around the 2.5 range right here. So we'll see what happens with price. Um, I'm going to keep following this stock because I find the price action very interesting. Thank you for listening. Bye.